Good morning. This is Guardian News. And uh, this is your Yellowstone Super Volcano update. Let me tell you, we had some good sized ones the other day. Towards the end of the day, let's go ahead and start off with the. Uh, oh, let's see. Bear with me here. Yeah, yesterday evening. Uh, we had an uptick in the in size of the uh, earthquake itself. It uh, went 2.7, 2.5, 2.1, a 2.9, which was almost you know almost 3.0, 1.91, 1.5, 1.5 to 22nd, uh, 0.7, 1.5, and a 1.0. And uh, there's been an uptick, and it seems like the size is, you know. It's getting bigger, but uh, as you can see, the swarm, it's all up in that west, making its way more and more towards the caldera. Um, I don't know. I don't know what your guys' thoughts are on this. Honestly, if you guys uh, live nearby, uh, you know, go ahead and send me some videos or something. Send me some videos of... Uh, what you guys are digging up, and I'll share that, and uh, I'll put your guys' name in the video if you want, or the link, or anything like that, uh, or even some of your, uh, you know, facts or thoughts, you know, I can use that as well, you know, uh, I know a lot of people are investigating the same thing that I'm doing, um, but I keep a close eye on things, because it's important to pay attention to this, let me tell you, it's no joke, you know, when it comes to uh, this stuff right here with Yellowstone. You got to respect Mother Nature, man. I shall kick your ass. Uh, so, just amazes me that, um, and a lot more people are reporting on it, and uh, mainstream as well, I noticed, you know. Well, the RT, I guess, if you want to call it, they're not really mainstream underground which uh, they give you a lot of this stuff that cnn uh msn and a lot of the mainstream media they don't cover but came across this video clip the other day and i was like what the hell and here's the thing you know if you were a government and i think like a government and you wanted to slide something underneath the radar yeah people are going to talk about it but if you slid that in there say five or ten years before the event actually happened because these guys know years on end when shit's gonna hit the fan you know things would calm down if you, you know you did it five six seven years before so i just i came across this clip and uh you guys probably seen this before but uh check this out and you can see the size here My friends here, we could all probably get inside. It might be a little cozy, but we'd fit just fine. Which tells me that these liners can be used for more than just one. And, uh, There's like 500,000 of these coffin liners. Casket liners. Casket liners. They're inexpensive coffins. I mean, maybe they want to store fruits and vegetables in them. I mean, who knows? Later. Spoke of it there, and of course, people usually don't want to hear too much about this kind of thing. So it's never been mentioned, uh, you know, publicly, except just here and there. Let's fast forward. I'm trying to hear this shit. Explain why just weeks. I mean, could have been two to three weeks prior to that meeting that I had stumbled upon these uh, at that time 125,000 oh. disposable 125,000 at that time sorry about that coffins or whatever uh, they could be termed as in that soybean field in Madison, Georgia oh yeah that's right they want to put soy soybeans in those coffins did you catch what he said friends at this high powered meeting it was in Perry, Georgia near 
Robbins Air Force Base, the largest employer in the state of Georgia, Robbins Air Force Base. The chairman of the Armed Services Committee was the keynote speaker. The chairman of the Armed Services Committee, whoever that may be, used to be Sam Nunn of Georgia, from the district I was born and raised in. Whoever that chairman is, is generally one of the most powerful men in Washington. And I can't remember the chairman's name at that time myself, but he said, this was in the year 2000, I believe, that in the next 10 years, possibly due to nuclear strikes, tens of millions of people could lose their lives. And we've just read what our prophet said. Now, what we've just seen is one United States city outside, this is Atlanta, it has a metropolitan population area, roughly 4 million people. So this it's not going to happen there. Outside of one U.S. city, and one U.S. city, and the brother of the man that owns this field, that the government is leasing this field from to store these disposable coffins, this brother has been was given three years to set up temporary morgues around the country. See. You know, if you were gonna, if you knew something that was gonna happen, an event that was gonna happen, a major travesty that was gonna happen, you wouldn't put supplies where it actually is gonna happen. You would put it on the outskirts. So uh, that's that's my theory. That's my theory. Um, you know, what do you guys think on that? I mean, those things are still there. Uh, they could have been moved, but obviously. You know, maybe they are for uh, soybeans or something because they're in a soybean field. Um, I highly doubt that. But anyways, so back to Yellowstone, which Yellowstone to Atlanta, Georgia is uh, quite a distance. So who's to say that if Yellowstone erupts, yeah, it's going to kill a lot of people because people don't want to believe what they want to believe. But the Lord gives signs in the earth, the skies, the people themselves. You see the evil. You see the you see change. But we've been brainwashed by mainstream mainstream media that we accept this change with everything that's just the natural, you know, it's just okay to be on your phone 24 seven. And it's just okay to, to, to have drag Queens, you know, do a read along with your two, three year old, well, not two or three, three to five year old, six year old kids at school. It's just the new normal. It's just the new normal. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Transgender. Yeah. It's just the new normal, you know, different, bathrooms you know a guy could go with the girls whatever or they're neutral or whatever they call them it's just the normal nowadays you know it's just the new norm to have all this evil happen okay wake up you guys wake up see it Let's take a step back and see it you know don't be afraid to speak up you know, you can speak to me, you can comment to me, you know, it, it, it's hard, you know, I mean, I'm not saying go judge these people and go tell them like, you know, because, hey, God is going to judge, you know, those people. God's going to judge me. God's going to judge you. You know, I, I'm not going to judge anybody. I don't judge people. When I was younger, yeah, I was a little, you know, egotistical some bitch, but now that I gotten older and I got my kids and stuff like that, you know, I've been, you know, really into the Lord and stuff. It's just, you know, the Lord saved my life. Let me tell you, you know, it, <laughs> I could, that'll be another video, but, uh, I'm running out of time here. I just wanted to do a quick yellow. Just hold on, buddy. Anyways, that was my son, but anyways, Hey, you guys have a great Thursday. God bless all you guys. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I'm going to keep a, probably going to do a couple more videos today. 
Uh, I'm supposed to have lunch with my wife, but you guys have a great day and God bless. Thanks for subscribing. Thank you.